Hello, my name is Melissa and welcome to another flow on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be focusing on yoga for balance. So balancing just the mind, the body, we're also going to start to balance the right and the left side body. We work with two different energies, so just noticing and trying to find balance between these two different energies. And just keep a playful spirit, go with the flow, and if you fall out of balance or if you have a little wobble or a little fall, just come back to the breath, just come back into the pose, laugh it off. Remember it is only yoga and give it your best shot and you might surprise yourself. Normally one day we feel really connected with the balance and we feel that we can stay there for a long time and then other days we fall out straight away. So let's just discover what kind of day today is and we will begin our flow in a comfortable seated position so just come onto the mat and take a seat either in cross leg legs straight out whatever feels more comfortable for you and just take the hands onto the knees and just take a big shoulder roll so the shoulders lift all the way up to the ears and then drop them all the way down away from the ears. It'll be fine lift and length into the spine as if you're sitting with your back against the wall. Closing the eyes, bringing your attention, your awareness inwards. Noticing the sit bones rooting down onto the mat. Noticing the length rising up from the base of the spine all the way through to the crown of the head. And just start to notice how you are feeling physically today. Just noticing how the body is feeling. Maybe you have a little bit of tightness and tension, maybe in the shoulders, the hips the side body, the back of the neck. Notice how you're feeling mentally. Notice if the mind is naturally calm or whether it is really busy. And with this yoga class, we're really going to start to connect the mind and the body. And we're really going to use the breath to do this. And so start to turn your awareness to the breath. Noticing the breath as it naturally is. Notice where the breath wants to explore in the body today. Notice how the breath is flowing in through the nose. Notice if you're favoring maybe one nostril that might be the right or the left. Notice if one is a bit more powerful. And start to deepen the breath. So you're taking deeper inhales and deeper exhales. Expanding into the front ribs, side ribs and the back ribs as you breathe in. And then exhale as you breathe out, you're releasing the breath and you're rooting further towards the mat. Notice if one side of the body is feeling a little stronger for you today. That might be the right side body, the masculine energy. The energy that really moves us through life allows us to get that power to really move forwards. Notice if you're naturally tuned to this, really quite busy, on the go, always moving forwards lifestyle. And whether you're more connected to the left side body, the more feminine energy, the calming, soothing energy. And it's a bit more grounded and centered. Maybe you really thrive off being in this space. 
And we'll start to bring both of these energies together with the breath. I'm going to work with an equal breath. And I will guide you through it. We're going to breathe in through the nose for five. Exhale out through the nose for five. And if five is too much, you can, you're always welcome to go in for three. Exhale for three. Inhale for four. Exhale for four, whatever suits you. So just notice if the breath starts to strain a little and maybe just revert back to some of the lo um, lower counts. But we'll just take a deep breath in and a big breath out. And inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five. Five, take a deep breath in and a big breath out. Just noticing and just bring your awareness to that even inhale, even exhale. And we'll try and maintain this throughout our practice today. Slowly on your next exhale, draw the chin down towards the chest. So you're opening through the back of the neck. Just taking a moment just to breathe here. And then slowly we'll take some half neck circles. So drawing the chin all the way over towards the right shoulder. So you're stretching out through the left side of the neck into the shoulder. And then exhale all the way back to center, chin to chest. And then slowly all the way over to the opposite side, stretching through the right. Slowly drawing the chin down towards the chest. Over towards the right side as you inhale and exhale, taking it all the way back to center, all the way over to the opposite side. Just do two more rounds, half neck circles in your own time with your own breath. And then slowly just releasing that, coming back to center. Reach the arms out to the side, and as you exhale, imagine you're hugging a big beach ball in front of you. Arms reach out forwards, and you're rounding and curving into the spine. So again, it's really nice stretch through the upper back. Inhale, slowly start to lift through the chest. Elbows move out to the side, and you come into cactus arms. Big breath here. Exhale, curving and rounding into the spine. So it's almost a variation of cat and cow, but we are seated rounding through the upper back, chin moving towards the chest, but drop the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, arms reach out to the side. Heart is open, shoulders drawing back, chest is open. Exhale, curving and rounding into the spine. One final round. Breathe. And then inhale, slowly rising and reaching the chest all the way up to the sky. And we'll just release the arms, interlace the fingers back behind you, and inhale, lift through the chest. Gaze up towards the sky. And then slowly just releasing the arms. And we'll switch the cross of the legs if your legs are crossed. And we'll take a spinal twist, taking the right hand to the outside edge of the left knee, left fingertips back behind you, inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, finding a gentle twist through the body. Gazing over that left shoulder, inhale, find length. Exhale, twist. Two more breaths, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, beautiful. Last time, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. 
And then slowly coming back to center, we'll go for the opposite side. Taking the left hand over towards the right knee, right fingertips or palm back behind you. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, finding a spinal twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, wringing everything out from the center line of the body. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, unraveling the twist from the base of the spine all the way up to the middle back, the upper back. Inhale, find space. Exhale, twist. And then slowly just coming back to center, walking the hands out in front of you, drop the elbows down onto the mat. And just round through the upper back a little bit and just draw the chin slightly towards the chest. And you might choose to sway a little bit from side to side. We're sort of getting into the lower back, starting to stretch there, but we're also getting into the hips. So notice if you have one hip that's tighter than the other. And just, this is something to notice. And eventually with regular yoga practice and with our awareness of the breath, we can start to bring our bodies into further balance. Slowly coming all the way up to seated. And we'll roll all the way forwards into an all fours position. So coming onto your hands and your knees, taking the hands and spreading the fingertips wide onto the mat, and you're rooting down through all 10 knuckles and lifting all the way upwards through the shoulder blades, shoulder blades spread, spread slightly wide. Chin is slightly tucked towards chest. You've got this length through the back of the neck. Core is engaged. And then slowly from here, just start to shift forwards into the wrists and then slowly start to send the hips back to the heels. Inhale, shift forwards into the wrist. Exhale, hips back towards the heels. Inhale, shift forwards. Exhale, hips back. And just do two more rounds just like that. So shifting forwards, shifting back. We're just starting to get into the wrists, warming up wrists. And now start to make some circles. So you move forwards with the chest and the hips move back and you're circling in the right direction. Let's make some circles with the chest, with the hips. Breathing in and breathing out. And then slowly start to switch directions. So we move all the way over to the left side. Weight moves into both hands and then all the way back to the heels. And they can be big circles, they can be really small circles, whatever feels best for you. Slowly coming back to centre, inhale, lift through the heart and the chest. The heart shines forward, the hips lift high to the sky, the shoulders drop. Exhale, curving, rounding into the spine. So we'll go for a few rounds of cat and cow. Inhale, lift all the way up through the chest. Exhale, curve and round into the spine. Inhale, lift through the chest. Big breaths. Exhale, round into the spine. Hold for three. And two. And one. Coming back to center, tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the mat, and then start to send the hips up to the sky. We're coming to our first downward facing dog of the day. In this first downward facing dog, feel free to bend both knees, maybe send the hips further up towards the sky, the torso rests towards the thighs. And this is really great for lengthening through the back. If you have the range of flexibility, you might start to straighten through both legs. Maybe finding some movement here, bending one leg, straightening out through the other. Maybe hip swivel side to side, maybe shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no, and the right elbow is moving towards the left knee. Left elbow is moving towards the right knee, outwardly rotating through the shoulders. Finding some stability and stillness in this pose. Notice if you favor shifting the weight into the hands or notice if you're shifting the weight back into the heels more and try and find balance between the two. Big breath in, big breath out. Look forwards between the hands, we'll step the feet slowly to the front of the mat. Pressing the right heel down, the left heel down. And then take your feet hip foot distance apart. Hands onto the shins or onto the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Breathing in and exhale, breathing out, folding forwards. Maybe a slight bend into the knees as you fold here. Interlace your fingers around opposite elbows and just a little gentle sway from side to side. 
opening through the hamstrings, letting the torso hang, imagining a trickle of water moving from the base of the spine all the way through to the crown of the head, and then it moves down into the mat. And slowly releasing the hands, bending into the knees, start to roll up vertebrae by vertebrae, stacking through the spine. The head comes up last. And just lift the shoulders all the way up to the ears and the shoulders drop all the way down away from the ears. We come to standing in our Tadasana. Take your toes to touch heels slightly apart and just pick up all 10 toes for a moment and you're going to root down through every single toe individually. So we start from the outer edge of the feet and work our way to the inside edges of the feet. So you should feel all four corners of the feet rooting down. Lifting up through heart center, the hands come through heart. And palms to touch, Anjali Mudra, connecting right and left side body. Noticing the breath, closing off your eyes here, maybe just shifting forwards, shifting back, maybe into the right foot, into the left foot. And try and find that moment where you feel a little bit more balanced, a little bit more stable through the whole body. Bone stacking on top of bone, muscles engaged, and to support the structure of the whole entire body. And then setting a personal intention for your practice today. It might be to feel balanced in the mind and the body. It might be to focus on balancing out the inhales and the exhales, whatever it might be. Something positive, maybe a positive mantra that you want to repeat to yourself every time you come back to standing at the front of the mat. Big breath in. Big breath out. Slowly start to open through the eyes. And keep your hands through heart center or maybe interlace your fingers behind the shin. I'll tell you where we're going. So you're going to shift the weight into the left foot. You're going to come up onto the ball of that right foot. And slowly just see if you can lift the right knee off into the chest. Maybe keeping the hands at heart center. If it feels best for you to hug that knee towards the chest, feel free to do so. But if your hands are through heart center, try and lift up through the right side glutes. You're engaging all the muscles of the thigh. You're lifting up through the left side body, engaging into your oblique muscles, the core, and you're standing on that left foot. Inhale. Exhale, bending into the left knee. Start to allow that right leg to reach up and back behind you as the chest lowers. We come into a warrior three. Your warrior three might look just with the right big toe hovering just an inch off the mat. You might be able to take it hip height, big breath. Exhale as you bend into the left knee, soft transition. Sneak the right foot back, ball of the right foot plants down. And inhale, we reach the chest up off the front thigh. We come into a high crescent lunge. So the front knee is bent and just make sure the knee is over the ankle. Maybe the hands stay through heart center, maybe the arms lift up to the sky. You might choose to have a bend into the back knee just to support the hips a little more and also to support the lower back. Inhale. Exhale, find your stability here. Lift all the way up through the core. Inhale. Exhale from here, spin onto the ball of that back foot. Turn the hips and the shoulders towards the side. The right toes are pointed towards the side wall. The left toes are pointing forwards. And the arms reach out to the side. Shoulder height, so the gaze is forward and soft over the front middle finger. And we made our way into a warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, take one last breath here. Inhale, flip the front palm all the way up to the sky. We'll reverse our warrior, taking the right arm down that back leg. Left arm reaches up and over. Beautiful stretch for the left side body. Maybe the gaze goes underneath the left arm. Maybe it comes to the palm of that left hand. Slowly releasing back to warrior two. We'll circle the hands down to the floor. Come on onto the ball of that back foot and slowly just see if you can lift the left foot off as you press into the hands and slowly step it back into a high plank using your core. Exhale, first chaturanga, maybe lowering the knees to the mat. Maybe going for a full chaturanga, shift forwards. Bend into the elbows, the elbows hug in as you lower the chest down. 
Inhale, lift cobra or upward facing dog. Shine the heart forwards. Exhale, send the hips up to the sky. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Big breath out. On your next inhale, the right leg reaches all the way up to the sky. We're coming into a three leg dog. Keep that right hip completely square. Don't collapse into the shoulders and feel free to stay in a regular downward facing dog if this is too much for you. Exhale, rounding knee to nose and step the right foot lightly between the hands. Knee is over the ankle. Inhale, come up onto the fingertips, lift through the chest. Exhale, lightly transferring the weight into the right foot and we step the left foot to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, folding forward, starting to flow. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands back through heart center, standing at the front of the mat. And this time we'll transfer the weight into the right foot, come up onto the ball of the left foot, hug the left knee into the chest, stand up tall. Maybe interlacing the hands over the shins, maybe keeping the hands through heart center. Noticing any wobbles. Noticing and maintaining that breath, inhale. Exhale, slight bend into the right knee to cushion the transition. Start to extend the left leg back into a warrior three. You can flex the foot, you can point the back foot, but try and keep the back leg engaged. One last in breath. Bend into the right knee, soft, slow transition. Use that lift of energy upwards through the core as you step that left foot back. High lunge, lift through the chest. Maybe a slight bend into the back knee or reach the arms up to the sky. Maybe the gaze goes with it as you release, relax the shoulders, inhale. Exhale, spin onto the ball of that back foot. You turn the hips, the shoulders to the side. Front knee is bent and then the arms just reach softly out to the side. Warrior two, holding for three. And two. And one, beautiful. Inhale, reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. Reverse your warrior. Left arm down that back leg. The right arm just sweeps gracefully up and over by the right ear. And you're still lifting upwards through the torso. Lifting through the core. And exhale, slowly circle the hands down towards the mat. Come up onto the ball of the left foot, pressing the hands firmly down to the mat and take the right foot off as you step the right foot back into a strong high plank. Exhale, either knees down onto the mat or not. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. On your next inhale, the left leg sweeps up to the sky, coming into a three-leg dog. Stable through the pelvis. Notice what that right knee is doing. Make sure the right knee is turning forwards and not collapsing inwards as you drop that right heel further down towards the mat. Exhale, rounding knee to nose. Step the left foot between the hands lightly. Inhale, find space through the chest as you come up onto the fingertips. Transfer the weight into the left foot as you step the right foot between the hands and come into a forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Let's go again. So we shift the weight into the left foot. Hug the right knee into the chest. Hands can stay through heart center. Maybe hands onto the shins. Another option, maybe the arms reach up to the sky and you squeeze through the center line of the body. Imagine that trying to touch the ceiling, but you're rooting down through that left foot as if you are the roots of a tree. Breathing in. Exhale, everyone, hands through heart center. You bend into the left knee. Come through a warrior three. Inhale. Exhale. Bending into that left knee. Sneak the right foot back. Come onto the ball of that right foot. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. This way. It's a little tricky with balance with these tricky transitions. Just stay with it. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale. Exhale, open to warrior two. Arms reach out to the side. 
front knee is bent. So this is take up so much room in this pose. Really use the room on your mat, challenging yourself in this pose, allowing the left knee to move towards the pinky toe edge. And flip the front palm up, inhale, reverse your warrior. Extension through the side body. Exhale, coming back to center. The elbow comes onto the knee, adding on. Right arm sweeps either up to the sky or you can reach the right arm up and over by the ear. Maybe the gaze goes underneath the right armpit. And feel free to go for deeper variations. Hand onto the ankle, hand to the block, hand to the floor. One last breath here. Exhale, gaze down towards the mat. Inhale, start to rise up. Warrior two. Straightening through the front leg. Maybe shortening your stance if you need to or not. Extending through the left side body. You reach the left arm forwards. The left hand plants down lightly and the right arm reaches up to the sky. You might just hover the left fingertips up off the front thigh. Using your side body core, using your obliques. One last breath here. Triangle pose. Exhale, gazing down towards the mat. Inhale, start to rise all the way up to standing. Back to warrior two as you bend into the front knee. Circle the hands down to the floor. Come onto the ball of that right foot and step the left foot back. Strong high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Press the floor away so you can lift the knees and the thighs off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, the right leg reaches up to the sky. Square hip. And feel free to stay here in this three leg dog if this is enough. Or transfer the weight into the right hand. See if you can come onto the left fingertips. A little bit of balance in this downward facing dog. Maybe see if you can reach the left fingertips back towards the left hip and they reach up to the sky. Ooh. It is a little bit wobbly. Smile, stay with it, breathe. And slowly place the left hand down. Hug the right knee into the chest. Step the right foot forwards. Come up onto the fingertips. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, transfer the weight. Step the left foot forwards. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Going with the flow. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, hands through your heart center. Beautiful. Transfer the weight into the right foot. Left knee hugs into the chest. Lift all the way upwards through the torso. All the way upwards through the spine. Maybe arms reach up. Hold and balance. Breathe. And then slowly exhale. Hands through heart center. You bend into the right knee. Transfer the weight forwards. Warrior three. One last inhale. Exhale, bending into the right knee. Step it all the way back. It needs to be quite far back. Bend the knee. Inhale, lift through the chest. Lift through the arms. High lunge. Big breath here. Exhale, open into your warrior two. Setting up your foundation. Take a breath. And then flip the front palm up. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Extending through the side body. And this time, elbow comes onto the knee, arm reaches up to the sky, or you can reach the arm up and over, We're coming into our side angle pose. Maybe the hand comes onto the ankle, maybe onto the floor inside of that right foot. Just breathe in. And breathe out, holding the pose. And gazing down towards the mat. Inhale, start to rise up to warrior two. We'll straighten through the front leg. And reaching forwards as you inhale, reach forwards, 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 until you can't reach any further. Right hand places down lightly and the left arm reaches up. Maybe the right arm just hovers off the mat. Gazing down. Inhale, start to rise back to warrior two. We'll circle the hands. Down towards the mat, framing the front foot, powering through that front leg as you step it back into a high plank. Exhale, Chaturanga, you've got this. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, send the hips high. Downward facing dog, feel free to take in child's pose. 
whenever you need it. Inhale this time, the left leg reaches up to the sky. Keep the hip completely square. Option to stay here, or option to try this little balancing downward facing dog. Come up onto the fingertips of the right hand. Stability through the left hand, stability through the left shoulder. Sometimes it helps to shorten your stance as well. Maybe see if you can lift the right arm off. And you hold any balance, and you breathe. Maybe fall, and that's fine. <laughs> Slowly place the right hand down, hug the left knee into the chest, rounding through the spine. Step the left foot forwards, inhale, lengthen through the spine, fingertips. And then slowly step the right foot forwards in between the hands, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, hands through heart. Closing off the eyes, take a big breath in. Big breath out. We're going to do one final round before we wind it down. Slowly from here, shift the weight into left foot, hug the right knee into the chest. Stand up tall, maybe the arms reach up to the sky. One breath per pose, take a big breath. Slowly transferring the weight, warrior three. You can keep the arms out in front of you this time if you want a little bit more challenge. Bending into the left knee, sneak the right foot back. High lunge, inhale. Exhale, open warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow comes onto the knee. Inhale, right arm reaches up to the sky or up and over by the ear, inhale. Exhale, gaze down towards the mat. Inhale, start to rise back to warrior two. We'll straighten through the front leg, reach forwards. Trikonasana, left hand down, right arm reaches up, inhale. Exhale, lean back into that imaginary wall behind you. Gazing down towards the mat, inhale, start to rise back to warrior two. From here, right hand comes onto the hip. A little challenge, we're going to go for Adha Chandrasana, half moon pose, one of my all time favorite poses. Bending into the left knee, you sneak the weight forward into the left foot. Left fingertips come down onto the mat just underneath the shoulder and you see if you can lift that right foot off. And it might just be an inch, it might be hip height. You're staying in that position where we're on the side and we're using the side body core. Maybe the right arm reaches up to the sky. Maybe the gate reaches up to the sky. If you're anything like me and you're wobbling and falling out of the pose, just smile. And slowly releasing both hands down to the floor. You're going to bend into the left knee, power through the legs, back to warrior three. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly coming up to standing, hug the right knee into the chest, stand up tall. Lift through the heart, lift through the gaze. And release, just shake out through the legs. We have one more round. Bending into the left knee, hug the left knee into the chest, stand up tall. It always helps to focus on the mat. And something that's not moving when you're balancing and it helps to shift the weight into the big toe. Inhale. Exhale, bending to the right knee, sink it back, warrior three. Hold, breathe, smile. And bending into the right knee, soft transition, lift through the chest, high lunge. Exhale, open into warrior two. <laughs> Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, elbow comes onto the knee. Inhale, the left arm reaches all the way up. Inhale, back to warrior two, straighten through the front leg, reaching forwards, trikonasana. Inhale. Exhale, use the breath, we're building lots of heat. Gazing down towards the mat. Inhale, back to warrior two, take the left hand onto the left hip. Reach the right fingertips forwards, bend into the right knee, soft transition. Half moon. Beautiful expression in this pose. 
Leaning back, opening through the chest. And slowly, both hands come down onto the mat, bend into the right knee. Back to warrior three, hold. And slowly, her left knee hugs into the chest. It will nearly skip that one out then. And release, really nice. Shake out through the legs, just take a moment, find your stability and balance on both legs, closing off the eyes, big breath here. And let's exhale all the air out through the mouth. And two more, just like that. Inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Last time, inhale through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Opening through the eyes. One last little balance before we head down to the mat to wind it all down. You're going to rise up onto the balls of both feet and you reach both arms up to the sky. You can always keep the hands at heart center. That feels good, but try to come up and lift the heels off the mat. You're really strong through the center. Reaching upwards, 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 upwards. Breathe. And then slowly, hands move through heart center. You're going to bend into the knees. Stay up onto the tiptoes. And we're in this little squat position. Just with the feet. And toe stand. And from here, you're going to reach the arms forward. You're going to counterbalance yourself. Reaching forward, you're going to shift the weight forwards. The knees move out to the side. And see if you can come to seated. You can always roll off to the side and come to seated in your own graceful way. It's completely up to you how you get there. So just come to seated, hug the knees into the chest, interlace the fingers behind the thighs and start to lift the legs. We're going for Navasana boat pose. Maybe you extend the arms forwards. Maybe you reach the arms up to the sky. Maybe you straighten through the legs and hold and breathe for three. And two. One, hug the knees into the chest. And just drop the chin down towards the knees. Rounding through the upper back, giving yourself a really big hug. And then from here, just take the soles of the feet together. The knees come out wide. Hands come onto the feet or the ankles. Inhale, lift through the chest. Exhale, fold inwards. If you have the range of flexibility, you might even get your elbows in towards your thighs. Just guide them further down towards the mat. And take two more breaths. One last breath. And then slowly coming all the way up to seated. Knees hug back into the chest. Take the soles of the feet down to the mat. I'm going to take a slow roll all the way down onto our back. So reach the arms forwards, curving and rounding into the spine. Start to roll all the way down, upper back, middle back, and lower back. Lovely. Once you've made it down onto the mat, just hug the knees into the chest. And rocking from side to side, let's take a happy baby pose, flexing into the feet. Take the knees into the outer upper arms. You can either take hold of the backs of the knees, or the soles of the feet, or the big toes, whatever feels good. Now start to slow down the breath, maybe tapping into those equal breaths that we saw at the very beginning of class. So breathing in for five, exhale for five. Hug the knees into the chest. Let's do one final contraction before our relaxation. Rounding knees towards the nose. Big inhale. And slowly just 
start to lower the right leg down, the left leg down, turning both palms up towards the sky alongside the body. Relaxing the jaw, relaxing the cheekbone spaces behind the eyelids, the forehead, shoulder blades, the muscles of the back can then just release. The hips can feel heavy, fully supported by the mat beneath you. And relaxing fingers and toes. Palms of the hands, soles of the feet, wrists and ankles. And softness through the breath. And just noticing how strong you are and how balanced you are. Just giving yourself some gratitude for the time that you've spent on your mat today. For truly finding that inner power, inner strength. for staying connected to the breath. And allow yourself just to acknowledge all of your hard work. And just allow yourself to dive into this final resting pose with greater ease. Noticing the breath rising and falling naturally into the lower belly. And start to deepen the breath. And of course, if you have the time, just stay as you are in this final Shavasana. And if you're ready to move, just deepen through the breath. And start to wiggle through the fingers and the toes, the wrists, the ankles. And hug the knees into the chest. And just start to roll all the way over to one side, resting heads on the arm as a pillow. In this fetal position, this place of security, grounding, rebirth. And just start to peel yourself off the mat, keeping your eyes closed if you can. Just come to a comfortable seated position, just where we started today. Take that big shoulder roll, lift through the spine. Hands move through heart, just bowing your chin towards your chest. Allowing yourself to feel completely balanced. And taking this balance off the mat and into your life. So notice what it is that you need more of. And really allowing yourself to find that. But doing it with ease and mindfulness. And thank you all so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. 
Thank you all very much. Um, I hope you feel a little bit more balanced. I hope you have a little bit more space in the body. I hope you're feeling a lot stronger as well. It was quite powerful in places. So just noticing. And I hope to see you on the mat again shortly. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.